Hi people, today we're going to be talking about Side Witch. Uh, it's uh, A Tale of the Witchlands by Susan Denard. Uh, apparently this goes between Wind Witch and Blood Witch, but for me, I read it after Blood Witch, and, and for me, in my personal opinion, I think it's better, because it offers some information on Kulen that I think I hadn't read before on the regular series. So for me, uh, I think it worked better to read it after Blood Witch. I have to say that this book is amazing, it has rough edges, which usually uh, I didn't like them before, but I'm, I have come to love them a lot, because when you have books like that, it looks like it's a diary with, uh, you know, it's a writing diary with uh, drawings and lots of notes and things, and for me it works very well with this kind of rough edges, because it gives you the feeling that you are really touching this diary and that, you know, there's like uh, the feeling that there is a lot of papers, small papers that can fall off if you, you know, if you don't write carefully. I love it. And in this book we are going to be uh, told the story of Ryber. If you remember her, she was Colin's girlfriend. And we also we are going to be learning more about side witches and how the society works. And also we will be learning about very important side witches from the past that have some influence on nowadays events. And I'm not going to say much about the plot because I don't want to make any kind of spoilers because it's a very short book and I did love reading it because um, you have at the beginning, you have the diary of River and you can see I'm looking for it. See, uh, at the beginning you have River for Tiza, you have the year and you have memories or whatever she's explaining. And you have some parts uh, of the diary that are written by her friend Tanzi. And then we are going to have parts of the diary that's going to be written by uh, a girl called DC. And uh, for me it was amazing. And yes, and we have these little clips of interviews or whatever, which I loved. And um, I did love how uh, the different timelines and the different stories of different sisters and different moments in time I love how all the stories came together and how many inklings this book gives you about what's going to happen in the future in the, in the, in the upcoming books of the Witchlands. So yeah, for me it was amazing and maybe it will have helped me to read this one before Blood Witch with this idea of the doors that open and I'm not going to say much more in case you haven't read Blood Witch. But as I say, for me it was better to have it read afterwards because of the cool and information. And uh, I think this is a book that you have to read because it has lots of important information and not only about side witches, but also in the story of the witchlands, how they came to be, how the powers that be, the magics and everything works. And also it talks more about the nomadsy and how they come to be divided and uh, it talks about ethics and racism and all of those things that uh, Susan Denar usually talks about in her books of the witchlands. And... Yeah, I mean, I loved this one. I read it in one day, almost in one sitting, because I could, just couldn't put it down. It grabbed me, and I didn't. It feels like some sort of mystery because the sisters began disappearing, and Robert has to, you know, to find them. And there is like this countdown, and there is all this information that's going to be thrown upon you that you are going to you know to juggle with all the information you are learning and the mystery of what's happening with the sisters and uh, where exactly we are situated. I mean like in uh, how side witches work, how they, uh, you know, evolve and change and uh, come into their powers and uh, the topography of the land, what's going on, what's happening, why it's cool in here, what... I mean, it, for me it was amazing and the mystery of what's happening to the sisters and what has happened to them in the past and what's going to happen to them in the future. For me that, that was amazing, amazing and it was like a mystery and also like a Dungeons and Dragons kind of book because you have all these little you know, maps here for when something happens, which I'm not going to tell you. But yeah, I did love a lot this book because... And you have this puzzle. Uh, I think it appears in later books too, in the Witchlands. I did love this feeling of, I need to know, you know, what's going on, which way I have to follow. It was like, for me, it was a book that really involved me in the, in the lecture. And I have to say that I love it. As you can see, I'm <laughs> constantly smiling because I did love the experience that this book gave me about, as I say, 
reading and wondering about the mysteries and wondering what's going on with the sisters and uh, yeah, having all these bits of information and you know, all these little posits kind of things that offer more inklings. Uh, wow, it was amazing and to have these little uh, parts that are written in pencil by Ryber and other witches, it's, it's amazing. I really enjoyed this one and I think it fits very well, very neatly in the, in the Witchlands story. And yeah, I, I, I love it. I need more like this one. It's amazing. So yeah, I recommend it to you if you love the Witchlands. If you haven't read them, please do because they are amazing. And yeah, now that I'm showing this to you, the covers are absolutely for me mind-blowing. And I love all the representation these books have. Because as you can see, we have different skin colors, different races, different cultures, different sexualities. And I love that we have so many things in these amazing books that already have an amazing and incredible world building with magic beings, with different witcheries or whatever you want to call them. So yeah, I won't shut up and I want to stop recommending them because you need to read them. They are amazing. So thank you for watching. Bye.